previously on the Lazy Geckos. Gaia, Gaia, Gaia. Calypso on 1-6. Write your names in there too and then pass it on to other sailing kids. We were starting traditions for kids cruising on sailboats. Okay, come on, let's start getting the boat ready. Then it was time to go. Are you nervous? We took an offshore passage from North Carolina to Charleston. It was a rough one. But soon we were in classy Charleston, South Carolina. <laughs> Are you ready for a day of fun in the sun? I am. What a great little spot. We'll go I to know. the bar, we'll go to the pool, have a day of it. Yeah, I'm excited. Are you doing laundry before we go? Well, I didn't want our clothes to wrinkle because if you leave them in there, they'll wrinkle, right? All right. So we'll fold this and then we're out of here. Welcome to Lazy Gecko Sailing. Looking for something exciting, free, and real? If so, you found the right place. Meet Calypso, our floating home. It's not working. We're sailing her all over and taking you for the ride. Please click on subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun. You know how long I've had this thing? No. Since before we moved on the lazy gecko. The bathing suit? No, the cover up. Oh. Tell me that isn't crazy. That's I nice. guess it's starting to fall apart. That's okay. You know, it's made it. It's the only one I could wear with a red bikini. It's great. You ready? Yeah. The boat is go, locked up. I'm gonna go pee. I think. To down the enclosures. When we leave the boat, we make sure to turn off the, well, I try to always make sure to remember to turn off the water at the dock because if like a pipe were to burst inside the boat while you're gone, it can flood the boat. So sometimes I forget and I'm like, Fuck. don't worry about that. You know this song, Waiting on a Woman? Look at that bruise you have. You got a big ass bruise right here from, the, from on the, something on the passage. Yeah, when we were on the passage, I was coming up for my shift and I think I must have hit that door opening. Yeah, I hit a couple things too. Yeah, it was rough. That was a rough passage. Yeah. I was so happy to pull in here and then I saw it was so amazing. You're gonna wear those right through the boat, huh? You've been doing a lot of that, wearing your shoes in the boat. You've been doing a lot of getting on me. I know, it's because you've been wearing shoes on the boat a lot. Sunscreen situation taken care of. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Lock the boat up. We keep our key in a lockbox on the boat. You know, some people are like, but you have a key in a lockbox on the boat. And I'm like, well, if somebody's going to break in the boat, they're going to just break through one of the hatches, and then you have a broken hatch to deal with and all your stolen crap, or they can just break open a lockbox, which is equally as difficult, and then they can just unlock the door. And then you just have all this stolen crap to deal with. So that's my theory. Or you can just give them instructions on how to break into your boat. Tara has Reese for the day, and we figured why not go enjoy this incredible marina? Parents need a little time to themselves here and there, right? We always turn the water off when we leave the boat, just in case the through hall was to bust open. I don't think it'd be sunk by the time we got back, but still water damage would be a big deal in all the compartments. It looks like she's like on plane because the current's so strong. It is a really strong current. It's like four knots. Crazy, so after that insanely rough passage, we had to go through a really strong current in the inlet. All the way up the river. Yeah, it was so fast that at certain moments, we were not moving. It yeah. showed a speed of zero. Yeah, it's bull crap. Look at this, looks like the water came over the dock. When did that happen? Wow. All the boats kind of left, so it's obviously a good uh, passage day somewhere. Yeah, no, there was a weather window today. This is cool, the Yorktown. I always see signs for this when we're driving on the 95. Then you have this other destroyer. Uh, I'm not sure what ship that is. Somebody will know. And over here, there's a submarine that is all jacked up. It's like rotting. They don't, I guess you can't go in that one anymore. 
submarines are pretty cool, man. Every time we're really like over like 13,000 feet of water and stuff like that, I always think it could be a submarine under me. Hopefully it doesn't do an emergency blow. Oh, look how narrow it is. I know. That thing is like a blade. This marina is also a resort. It has a ton of fun options to enjoy. What do you want to go to? Tiki bar. I heard Tiki bar yesterday. Well, we pulled in, you and I both had no sleep. And once I saw it, I heard the girl say Tiki bar. I was like, okay. Leave me alone, I'm drying my wings. Life around the ocean is so fun to watch. A few more steps and we were about to hit the bar. They're still requiring masks inside. That won't ruin our fun though. Mask up. Look at my mask matches. Oh look, a little ladybug. A little, 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 little ladybug. Can you get it? I can't really see. Hmm. Come here, little ladybug. Fair winds, little ladybug. Peace. <laughs> Let's go get a beer. I like your freaking Pirates of the Caribbean theme. It's upside down, but... Oh man, really? Yeah, it's upside down. That's okay. I mean, it's still gonna be upside down. Yeah, it's still upside down. Good. You can't put it on right? Or, I mean, it's up to you if you want to. No, but... I'll, I'll do the upside down. Alright, I'm go good. On. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about! Oh, that's the exit. <laughs> There's a big sign on the door that says exit. Yeah. We haven't had anything to drink at this point. Okay, now. From the beginning. Nope, but we were thirsty. Boys. Yeah, that's the entrance right there. Oh, please. We're all messed up. Is this place open? Oh, no. The bar's not open. I'm going to be an unhappy camper. It's closed. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. Today's Monday. Maybe it doesn't open until later. Maybe they swapped between bars. Because all the bars were closed other than this one. Sure. What time is it now? 2.40. Oh. So maybe we should bring drinks from our boat. Well, maybe there's another bar there. Not to worry. We were on a mission and we weren't going to fail. We have childcare for goodness sakes. We found the only open bar. Cheers. <laughs> like, why are these people go praying themselves? <laughs> uh, I, I get myself over that. a uh, domestic beer, Bud Light. I do a Baca water, Tito's usually. Yeah, Tito's and water. Tito's and water, no lemon or lime. I'm pretty simple, but he would disagree. No, you're not. You know, you're you're simple. You're not simple. You're complex, but as far as what you drink, very easy. <laughs> you're silly. So we're we gonna hang out by the pool. Is that what we're gonna do? No, I think Cornhole. Yeah. And um, is there a hibachi? Um, a hibachi girl, yeah, we go to the hibachi. No, girl. the game, the, where you throw one ball and it's something. I have a hibachi ball, I think. One more and then I'm taking you outside. And play with some balls and some sacks. Okay. <laughs> it's true though, because they're it sacks is. and they're balls. Yes. Well, the mask. You gotta the put mask. it on. You gotta put it on. My sunglasses are fogging up. Oh, I can't see your face at all. I'm incognito. The only issue, I have like a small face or something. It falls off. All right, let me see here. Hold my beer. All right, let me take my mask off. Let me see my beer. You Thank are you. high maintenance. Thank you. So what exactly have you been thinking here? Because you, she keeps on talking about these games, and I'm not really into it, but what games? Uh, hibachi? No. Nah. On the bocce ball, and she wants to play cornhole. I think we're the only people drunk on the whole premises. Oh, yeah. We're the only ones here. Hi. Hello. There oh, look at the little puppy. Here's the bocce ball thing. I think it's bocce ball. You want to play this? Well, first I gotta go pee. Do you want first rule is form two teams of two to four players. We can't play. <laughs> okay. I'm playing. All right. How do I play? I don't know. Mm. Good for anything. All right, one team tosses the panilla, the little ball. She's the only one out here in a bathing suit. Everybody else is wearing clothes. Well, I've also been up north. Okay, we're coming out here. We have no idea what we're doing. Can you tell?
You did good. Thanks. Can we go play with some sax? Yes. We'll go play with cornhole. Cornhole. I have to go pee, but I'm not going to pee in the pool. So. You what? They they have bathrooms. I know. It's just far walk. I'm holding it. I don't want to lay there too long because then you get like the imprints on your skin. Oh, on like your butt? cottage cheese booty. You don't ever get a cottage cheese. You're talking about the red imprints. Yeah, yeah, the imprints. We spoke with Tara and decided we wanted to meet up to play cornhole. So we lounged at the pool until it was time. Today was Tara's last day with us and we wanted to hang out before we parted ways. Cooking? Their kitchen open, so nice. we're dining, they're cooking. I'm gonna go bring this to Tara. Found her. Oh, you don't wanna fly? Hi! Right Get it, girl. This is for you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Five to one. This is Reese's rules. So we started out just playing regular cornhole, but that wasn't fun enough for him. So I told him he could make five rules, but they had to, like, he had to make them all before the start of the game. So his, show us your rules. What were your rules? No, you show them. Pretty much they were block shot, block shot, block shot. You can, you can block the hole. So he goes like this. You can block from the middle. What else? You can block. You can swipe at it. Nice. Um, and when it's about to swipe, you can pick it up. Yeah. Um, you can grab it like as it's going through the hole even. Nice. Um, he did that to me once. And so then he if has... it lands on the board like this, I can move it wherever I want to. Oh, oh you got I, I one. Have, I have three. Two, two. Five to three and we're playing to ten. Nice. So, I won the first game playing normal rules. Good job, Tara. I figured you're good at this one. Do you think that, uh, maybe I can join you? Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, yeah. Cheers, my dear. Cheers, baby. Son of the bartender, he said, this is the coldest it's been here all year. And I was like, I like the sound of that, because it's warm right now. Yeah, I found a bikini. It's been a while since I've been in a bikini. Yeah, it's wonderful. It's been really cold going north, and now we're I haven't been in a bikini either. We're finding warmer weather. Yeah. It was a good time. The beach was basically all ours. We just hung out, had some drinks, and played some games together. So I have to go really fast in order to... They should have more blocking rules in, in Cornhole, I think. <laughs> yeah. It would definitely make it more interesting, right? Yeah. Hi, Mom! Four, four, four update, Reese. Seven, four. All right. No, I'm five. Oh, seven to five. Tara has been an outstanding nanny to Reese. Can you tell she's totally into sports? One of her favorites is beach volleyball. I have to go before he gets that hole blocked. There's no, there's no shot unless I go like get it just right over him. Yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> She's been bugging to play some cornhole. All right. Why don't we make this a little more like legit? Okay. Ready for this? Yeah. Oh, that's a nice one. Dang! That was pretty good. I'd like to thank my uh, sponsors for Parts Unlimited, Kawasaki. Can we trade spots? Because I think you have the better spot. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> Let's see how she does. Hopefully she can knock one in the hole. Okay. She already threw one. Oh, crap. <laughs> she hit me. <laughs> Yeah, we right. should. You should go first. It's probably the spot. I'm still having fun. That's all that counts. Good. Have fun. Okay, let's see what I got this. Ha! Oh, see? I made it. Thank That's you. Fun. Tara, I'm three drinks in. You're way behind me. 
I'm bearing you. Okay. Actually, I'd like you to shotgun it, but you don't have to. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. She doesn't have to shotgun it. She just needs to drink fast. Sounds good. It'll definitely be drank before we leave to go back to dinner. Yeah. I am three drinks in and I'm feeling it. I almost went backwards over the boat. Oh, yeah. We have a fish on board. Oh, we got a fish. I wonder who made the fish. We caught a fish. <gasps> It's a rainbow fish. Oh, it's so pretty in the sunlight. <laughs> Do you remember the code to get in? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. You don't? Wait, did he change it? No. Okay, good. I remember it. Jeremiah tried to show me a way that is better, but to me, I like my way better. It just works better for me. So, we are going to do a one, two, three changeover, and then we will head back to the fire pit, grab some dinner, and enjoy the night. Tara has lived aboard Calypso for several months now. She did some crewing, but primarily was a nanny and school teacher to Reese. That allowed us to work more and have some quality time as a couple. We weren't sure how having another person aboard would go, but only have fond memories of our time together. Oh, Are you going running? Yeah. We stayed at a marina in Bridgeport. I'm going Are you now. seriously going running? Yeah, Holy I've cut shit. myself off from drinking. I've only had like four beers, so like, right there, I should probably chug a water and just go for yeah. a run. Yeah. <laughs> you need so to do a check-in after four to beers to and running. <laughs> at your turnaround yeah. point, do a check-in on how you're feeling. Like, all right, stopping for a beer. Yeah. Be back and in like however did. long. She went to a functional medicine like, doctor. Yeah. I'm at halfway there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> This girl's gonna run after she had a double patty burger. Oh, so did I. Four beers. Four beers. And she's gonna go run how far? I'm thinking like five miles. I can't even think about running a mile right now. I got, I got flashing lights. Have you guys, have we videotaped those yet? No, but I'm going to on the way out. So my shoe lights shine right in front of me. So that way I can make sure I'm not gonna trip on the sidewalk. Cause you know they're uneven. Yeah. This is definitely sidewalks are uneven. Slip on a crack and I'm not but breaking my mother's law. Yeah. I am I am a mo mother's age now. I'll yeah. be breaking no, my own law. You're not a mother's age. Uh, we Shut up. Over I know. Oh, you said like your mother? <laughs> he, he came down for yeah, right. I keep telling her she's so young. She's so young. I had him young. Yes. I can't even believe. Like, what is this? It's like it looks like midnight out, but it's six fifty. I know it's so early. So I have time to go get a run in and a shower and still get up at a normal time. Maybe a beer after the run, even. Beer run. This random lady is running with me, but I don't think she's, no, she's not going to run with you. Yeah. Like I love. How's that s'mores? Oh. It's a yeah. sticky situation. <laughs> that's that's no, hilarious. No, no, no. Reese will stay in contact with her over the years and we'll see her again in the future. Who knows? Maybe she will come aboard again. You never know what the future holds. But for now, fair winds and calm seas, Tara. Thank you for your friendship and for taking such good care of Reese. What are you eating? Ice cream. It's good as chocolate. It's good as chocolate? Uh, it's good. World. It is chocolate. You got chocolate on the top, right? What kind of what what scoop do you have underneath the chocolate? What scoop? Oh, vanilla. Vanilla. So you got a vanilla scoop and a chocolate scoop, and what's all over it? Rainbow sprinkles. Rain. Hi, I'm live from Big M Casino. I've really missed my time on Lazy Gecko, but it was a lot of fun on Calypso. I miss Reese and Jeremiah and Brittany a lot, but it was a great learning experience. I left to go back to Cape Fear and get my degree in marine technology, and I have had so many great opportunities since, and I look forward to many great experiences here forward. My boyfriend and I are buying a boat. He currently lives on a sailboat, and we're buying a new boat and we are going to hopefully be starting our own YouTube channel called Sailing with TNT. And I look forward to having all of my fans as followers. Coming soon on the Lazy Geckos. Really neat market. Arthur Ravenel Jr. Bridge. The battery, it's beautiful. I'm off from Charleston. I'm gonna go for it. Angel Oak Tree. <laughs> and now I try to catch it. Look at the back of this thing. We are taking our settee cushions in today. My underwear are on backwards. Not sure when that happened. I've never seen the inside of a microwave. Oops. Do you know what you're doing? No, but I watched YouTube video. This is pretty freaking amazing. Thank you for everybody that has followed us. Mm.
We have Jason Pinko here today. Inner diamema is spliced into itself to right there. What got there? Do you feel like you can administer emergency oxygen now, honey? Yeah. Is this the best day ever? Or yeah, well, we'll see. The one in the living room might fall down. We'll see. Having a CPAP on the boat. Jeremiah just left to go. next to the blue hole in the Bahamas. Turns that electrical signal into a mechanical. Well, I worry about a lot of things. Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week.